Welcome back to Good Morning Quad Cities at 11. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. Amber Simmons with the Quad City Animal Welfare Center is joining us this morning. First of all, Amber, thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about Miss Kitty. Yeah, so she's a staff favorite. Um, she's been with us since December of last year. Mm -hmm. um, eight years old, um, really friendly cat, loves to play and cuddle. Um, she does have feline immune deficiency. Um, which is not something your dogs or your, you can get. It's just a feline only uh, virus mm -hmm. and uh, they can live long, happy lives. So. so, I mean, I hate to bring up such a lovely lady's age, but she is eight years old. And I ask this because, you know, we mostly see kittens here on Pet of the Week. So how does this level of care change for an older lady like Miss Kitty? Yeah, um, so I wouldn't worry too much about her age. Cats can live until their late uh, teens, early 20s. Um, uh, she would probably start needing her senior blood work once a year just to see, you know, just like any other cat at that age, see how they're doing. Um, but otherwise, she's a very healthy, happy cat. But as far as like, you know, kitten proofing the house, they're, you don't Oh, have to yeah, you don't need to step. knock anything. Yeah, she's not, no, she's not going to get up on there and knock a bunch of stuff down or climb your curtains mm -hmm. or <laughs> anything like that. She's going to want to be on your couch with you. Perfect. So what kind of home would she fit best, anything? Um, a quieter one. Um, I think she'll be a bit of a couch potato, so she'll want to play, but she's not going to be too crazy. So, um, yeah, a quieter home would probably be best. And you mentioned she's FIV positive, and we've had cats that were FIV positive on the show before, but for those who don't know, what is FIV? Uh, so it's a, a immune deficiency virus, so if she were to get sick, it might take her a little bit longer to get over it. Um, but like I said, they can live long, healthy lives, so just regular vet checks um, and, you know, keeping an eye out for any, any illness. So she can't go to a home with other cats, but what about, you know, dogs or people with young kids or, you know, maybe they have like immunocompromised. Oh yeah, no, but it's feline only. So she can definitely go to a home with other dogs, um, kids, um, cats, as long as they're FIV positive as well. Okay. So I didn't see anything else coming up for the rest of the month of October with uh, the Quad City Animal Welfare Center, but First weekend of November, you have an event, right, at the Four Bros Tap Room? Yeah, so it's a Paint Your uh, Pet fundraiser. Um, it's uh, $50 to register. Spots are limited. And uh, the doors open at 6. Painting starts at 6.30, and you can paint your own pet. Oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a lot of fun. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And if you would like to adopt Miss Kitty, visit the Quad City Animal Welfare, Welfare Center's Adoption Center. They're open Mondays and then Wednesdays through Saturdays, noon to 5. And you can also visit their Facebook page or website. GMQC at 11. We'll be right back.